My father started me playing the violin when I was four years old. Uh, he was a concertmaster in the opera um, orchestra. I flew from Beijing to New York. I had uh, $36. Um, I'm proud to say that. So uh, Peabody was very much home uh, as a 19-year-old for the first four years. And then my fifth year was transitioning into my professional life, which was uh, also very lucky. I was mid-20s, and which was pretty early. It's funny that I feel like after now 23 years of playing in a Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, then I'm back to school as a faculty that literally feels like a full circle. Yeah. Forte. Yeah. Contrast. There you go. Keep it at the top. Motor legato. Big conductor. Move. Yeah. Okay. For me personally, I was inspired by those uh, wonderful teachers at Peabody and in the professional, in the real musical world, you encounter every weekly uh, with conductors, um, our wonderful music directors, and uh, famous soloists. So they, you learn, you watch, you learn. I mean, those are actually, uh, in reality, the real world. So I like to get the students to equip them. You have to have the ambition of what you want to do with the tools that you acquire in school. So, I mean, it's my responsibility to help them find those uh, to, to be able to play best on the instrument. But also, I, what I can do is to help them to direct them and give them a direction as far as career advices and what fits their personality. We're doing this uh, New York Phil uh, Philharmonic uh, Violin Audition. One for principal second, and there's five rotated positions. So that's a lot of openings. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, one of the top five orchestras uh, in the country, if it's not in the world. The music business is a tough business. It's very competitive. And on top of that, it's a very subjective. It's art. It's, you know, your personal preference of what's, uh, what's beauty, what's not, you know? Light. Keep your ball light. Keep going on. The end goal for me is to become a working musician. That's the most important thing.